Hello everyone, I am Antonio Driver, your Prince George's County LGBTQI plus liaison, and we are here at Friends and Food. Um, they invited me here just to understand the work that they do, um, all of the services that they provide around not only just Prince George's County, but around the DMV area. Um, so let's go in and see what we can see. Great, so um, Food and Friends was founded in 1988 as an AIDS-serving organization, and because of that mission, a large proportion of our volunteers, staff, and clients in those early days were members of the LGBT community uh, who were looking to, you know, just make lives better for people who were really sick with AIDS during that time. So we started um, delivering meals to the homes of people who were living with that illness. And then since then, uh, we've been operating for 35 years. We take care of people with a whole host of serious and complex health diagnoses and we're delivering medically tailored meals to them. And you know, the LGBT plus community is still a really important part of our staff and our volunteers and our clients and our donors today. Wow. So if someone and wants to come and volunteer here or they're unsure why they wasn't a volunteer, yeah. we're, 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 they get to meet you. Yeah. That, they get that's, to meet that's, me. that's the beauty. They get to meet the volunteer team, but also all of our food prep staff, our chefs in the kitchen, and our food prep team out here. They're all wonderful and they have varying experiences. So if you want to go, if you want to volunteer at a place that gives you a sense of community, so Food and Friends I am is the, Are you the executive chef? I am the executive chef. Oh my God, how long have you been here? I've been here for almost five years now. Five years. Yeah. Um, and you are a Prince George's County that's resident. Right. I live, in, I live in Glendale, Maryland. Right. That's right. Okay, okay, yeah. we love that. Um, <laughs> so what led you to Fruit and Friends? Um, you know, I'm native Washingtonian, been uh -huh. here all my life and you know, I've worked in the industry for over 30 years, uh -huh. and one thing that's important to me is like I wanted to take what talents I've learned mm -hmm. and give back to the community. And food and friends gave me that opportunity. It's like it connected all the hit, hit all the bases. I got food, I got family, and I got friends. So that's what it's all about. Well, I need a group of people to come with me in June for Pride Month when we are out here at Food and There you go. Going to probably take over the entire building there you go. and be able to help deliver. Uh, you all deliver six. Thousand yeah. meals. A Isn't that day. incredible? That's incredible. And literally door to door. Mm -hmm. We sure do. Wow. And that's with some of our staff, but also again with volunteers. And tailored meals. Yes, medically tailored meals. That's Med right. Medically tailored. Yes, that's that right. is amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate you coming out. All right. And even with our grocery program, um, it's enhanced from you know what you might think of in a typical food pantry and that you're not just getting like pantry items or drying goods but you're also getting fresh produce frozen proteins like mm -hmm. chicken turkey and fish as right. part of their grocery package wow. It's one of the apple almond cakes. Oh, wow. And so um, Adam had his back to us when we came mm -hmm. in, but he's our, our baker and he always makes these. And like when I come in early in the morning, you can smell the coffee. <laughs> We've got yeah. some salads. And, and you all don't go to the same. You all don't go to the same person every day, or do you go? Yeah, every week. Every week. So the prepared meals go out once a week, the okay. groceries go out every other week. Okay. Yeah. We used to, when we got started, we went every... We went six days a week. Yeah. Wow. So you go to one person. Yeah. So we went every day to that. Yeah. Mm. COVID was a big switch, right? Yeah. Like, now that we freeze it, it's, um, we can go once a week. And, mm -hmm. you know, our clients have so many doctor's appointments and things like that, that they appreciate that, too. So, okay. yeah. So how many individuals in Prince George's County are you serving? Yeah, so Prince George's County is right next door to us at Food and Friends, really important neighbors. In the past year, we have served uh, over 1,200 people in the county and provided over 440,000 meals.